Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, graph um, this uh, parabola. So when looking at graphing the parabola, the main important thing is we want to be able to identify where is the vertex and the value of p, which is going to take us to the focus. So to do that, we kind of need to know our general equation. We see that we have x squared. So the equation I'm going to use is x minus 8 squared is equal to 4p times y minus k. Now, obviously, you can see this looks much more complex than that equation, right? And when you, already know it's in when you already know that the vertex is at 0, you don't really have to always write out this extensive uh, problem. But basically, what I can write is x squared, um, since there's no h and k, right? x squared is equal to 4p times y. Um, now, what's important about this, since I don't have an h and a k in my example, we need to understand what exactly is h and k. Well, the center is h and k. So the h and k is the coordinates for the center. Well, since we don't have them, we do have them. It's actually just 0, 0. So when graphing this, I'm going to want to graph the vertex, which is at 0, 0. Now, what we want to do is a, when we're graphing conic sections with the parabola, the parabola can open up, down, left, or right. But since we know we have x squared, through our studies, we know that x squared, when we're squaring the x variable, that's going to be graphing, uh, having the graph either open up or open down. And that's all dependent on, obviously, you can look at you know, the a if we were to write this in our standard form. But in our case, it's going to be dependent on the value of p, where p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So we need to determine what p is. So again, if I look at this equation, x squared equals 4p times y. So really. 30 is equal to 4p. So divide by 4, divide by 4. 30 divided by 4 is going to be, uh, that can reduce to 15 over 2, which equals p, which is roughly p is equal to 7.5. So then roughly, I'm just going to graph that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 7.5, so that's the focus. That's the vertex. So since the focus is above the vertex, I know the graph is going to open up. And then also, um, <clears throat> I need to determine the vertex. I'm sorry, the directrix. So the focus is going to be um, on the axis of symmetry, right? So therefore, it's just going to be 0, comma, 7. Uh, let's write that as 15 halves. I think I did this problem. I didn't copy it down. Oops. And then the directrix is going to be um, the same distance from the vertex to the focus, but in the negative direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But remember, the directrix is not a point. It's actually a line that is perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. So the directrix is y is equal to negative 7.5. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph uh, your parabola by determining the focus and the directrix. Thanks.